Hey yo, what up guys, Pixelated here, and on today's orphan video, we're going to be talking about the Planes of Eidolon update, or, to be more honest, we're going to be talking about the Focus rework uh, that's going to be coming with the Planes of Eidolon update. So, f the Focus system has really been a huge part of Warframe, but it's actually never been, like, you know, like, really touched on, but right now, it's getting a rework that's going to be coming with the Planes of Eidolon. So, today, I thought I would make a video talking about how it can be. Now, take all of this information with a grain of salt, okay? Take all of it with a grain of salt because none of this is confirmed. It's just speculations and my theories themselves. So, first of all, let's talk about all the focus schools that we have. We have Vaziren, we have Unrayu, Unrayu, Madurai, Zenuric, Naraman. Now, those are pretty much all of the focus schools and we will be getting back into those in a bit. Well, I forgot to say spoiler alert because the focus system is actually unlocked after you finish the war no not the war within the second dream it's like a new part to the game where you can use your character you can customize your character after the quest and it like basically gives you like sort of passive warframe abilities but do keep in mind that the focus system was actually introduced to like you know to get you into the operator gameplay but it was not fully finished at that time but after you finish the war within and this is another spoiler after you finish the war within you can actually play as your operator so the operator uh, operators actually got a much more like independent view to the combat thing but to be honest with you right now you can't really use the operators to fight enemies and do shit like that like you just can't do it because the whole entire thing is just not developed yet but with this focus rework um operators will basic basically be getting like a rework i guess operators are going to be getting a rework so you can freely use the operators in combat or whatever you're doing you know so the operators are going to be sort of like a warframe or something like that now i'm going to be getting back to that in a bit but first of all let's talk about this image real quick so all accumulated focus will be refunded for a res respect respect and the sledgehammer as has arrived more focused on the physical operator warrior mode accessible in the plates of Eidolon if you have completed the war within now we're gonna be going over all of those points in a bit but first of all uh, not first of all I why do I say first of all all the time that's sort of fucking stupid but yeah let's talk about the focus schools themselves so if you haven't finished the war within this is a massive fucking spoiler so just 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 click off the video like you know do, do whatever you want or you can you can keep watching it and give me your ad revenue you know what i'm saying yeah 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 no that was dumb as well but vaziren 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 is that vaziren okay I don't know, this, the, the words are really weird, but uh, on the description of Vaziren, it says that the train, uh, they are trained to counter the enemy and move within, an, uh, move within the op opponent's attack in order to nullify them. So Vaziren is sort of like, you know, they, they are like the strongest, they, they basically prepare themselves to fight the enemies and shit like that. So next up we have Unrayu, they push themselves to the outlast of the enemies to withstand all aggression without retreat. So that should explain a lot about Unrayu. Unrayu is basically like tanky, you know, armor, basically. So that's what Unrayu means. Now, the Madurai one is really weird. They followed the path of engage the enemy, uh, to, to engage the enemy. Their swift, uncompromising onslaught holding nothing back recklessly attacking their foes so basically this is madurai madurai basically means you know going all fucking out smashing and ripping your enemies into pieces and i'm gonna be telling you why these are really important as a description and the new rick is basically they believe the clearest path to victory was to dominate the enemy they sought to choke opponent of all their resources so this is like sort of the you know the trickster type of thing so Zenuric is sort of trickster and Naramon finally we have Naramon right 
Naruman by far is like it's it's really weird. It's basically a combination of like you know trickster, a little bit of mind control, and something like that. So Naruman is that is that's the best way I can explain Naruman. Now let's talk about the whole focus rework thing, right? What does it mean and why is it really important? Now I'm gonna be telling you this, man. It can go sideways and it can goes it can go any way with this rework. Either it will be really good or it will be completely an utter fucking disaster, okay? But let's hope for the best. So, uh, those descriptions, right? They have tanky, they have a little bit of tankiness. Each of the schools have different sk uh, like set skills and everything like that. So there's tank, you can play as your operator as a tank. You can like rip the enemies into pieces. You can be the trickster and trick the enemies into thinking some shit that you want them to think. And then there's Naraman, which you can, you know, it's like a mashup of different things together. So yeah, those are pretty much the descriptions, uh, descriptions of the focus schools. Now, what my theory is, is that you can use your operator in many different ways after the focus rework happens. You can play as a trickster, you can play as a, like, you can rip the enemies into pieces, you can do, like, you can go batshit crazy, you can go full-on melee mode, you can use your uh, different abilities, and of course, do not forget that there is arcanes on top of that to support that. But my question here is that, uh, and this is a big one, is that how the fuck are you supposed to fight fight with like 100 health? Like there's gotta be some fucking analogy to that. Like, yeah, like th there's gotta be something to support that. So maybe, just maybe, we will have shields with operators like we do with our warframes, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that that that's a possibility. That can definitely happen. Cause you can you can't just go in in a fucking battlefield and be like, hey man, I'm I have 100 health. Can I can I fight beside you? I'm gonna die very quickly, but can I fight beside you? Like, no, dude, that's not gonna fucking happen. That's that's not a contradiction, but it's not gonna happen. So maybe we will have something. Uh, based on the school, something that the school offers, you know, the something that the focus tree offers, something, just something that, you know, that will allow the operators to fight, uh, uh, you know, in a way that we haven't done ever before. And the next thing that we're, of course, we're going to touch on, and that's all of the skills uh, theory that I have to mention. Now we're going to be talking about the focus rework. So, everything that you have earned so far, all the respect, everything, it will be refunded. Okay, all of your respect will be refunded and it will be a, a refunded for a respect. I don't know what that means. Just don't. So that's one thing that's just clear. That's everyone can understand that. Now, I want to touch on the second point, which is the sledgehammer mode, which basically means it will have more focus on the physical operator. So what this basically means is that we're going to have different different types of operator gameplay. You can fight with your operator, you can go fishing with your operator, you can collect stuff with your operator, you're going to have to do certain things in the open world that's going to actually need you to be in your operator mode. So that's what the slash hammer mode means and warrior mode. Now this, my friends, is like, ho, ho, okay, this is really fucking interesting. You know why? Because I predicted that this day would come when you will be fighting as your operator. Now, if you didn't check out my dev, dev stream video, I suggest you do. Because I did talk about operator warrior mode in that video. But what this basically means is that operators are going to have weapons. Okay, that, that yeah. Autistic kids having weapons in a space ninja game. Okay, two, two, okay, okay, let's, I, so just forget I didn't say that, but yeah, operators are gonna have weapons in the game that they can use uh, to fight the enemies in the open world of Planes of Eidolon and everything like that. And this mode will be available to all of the people that have finished the War Within. So make sure, before you jump into the Planes of Eidolon, if you're a new player, make sure you finish the War Within in order to unlock Warrior Mode. Now... One other thing that I really quick want to mention is that you're going to be using the operators quite a lot. And I mean quite a lot because you're going to be fighting fucking Eidolons, which are like fucking 10 feet tall or something. I don't know. So you're going to be combining your operator with your Warframe to take down the Eidolons. 
So that's pretty interesting. So the focus rework, in my opinion, can open up a whole new path of gameplay. You can play as a tank, as your operator. You can play, you know, anything you want. You can rip the enemies into pieces. You can be a trickster. And that's why I suggest you guys uh, definitely read the focus school's descriptions because those are really important, you know? You know why? Because as you can see, Vazirin is basically like going all out on the enemies. Unrayu is the same. Madurai is sort of like ripping the enemies into pieces. And Zanurik is basically like strength and resistance so it has a bit of both and Naraman ha is like a trickster it's just like a trickster and to be honest with you Zanurik's uh, passive which is energy overflow and Naraman's shadow step the all of all of that shit it's gonna be nerfed so all of you guys are shit out of luck on that side so yeah it's gonna be focusing more on operator gameplay so that's pretty much all I have for the focus rework guys of course I cannot tell you that much because the update isn't even out yet but th these are pretty much my pred predictions uh, what's it gonna be on the focus rework side and everything like that so and one more thing guys is that I know I uploaded this video like 10 days late yeah so original and funny so original and funny guys haha -ha. self-deprecation is fucking amazing uh, okay, that was weird as well, but yeah, I am really sorry that I uploaded this video after like 10 days late I, I ran into some problems in real life had to fix those and yeah, pretty much we're good right now So I'll be trying to upload more often, but mm, Not not sure about that yet, but that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys If you're new to the channel make sure that subscribe button because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton and yeah I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hope you all have a great day